Welcome back into the Sports Source, the segment brought to you by Daniel Hood Roofing. Folks, if you think you might have had storm damage to your roof recently, that great big winds and hail and everything from a couple weeks ago, right now, I mean right now, is the time to call Daniel Hood Roofing and get your free estimate. If you take too long to get an inspection, insurance companies try to get out of paying for the repair or the replacement. Bob, don't insurance companies try and get out of paying things? Uh, yeah, slightly sometimes, maybe. <laughs> Yep, and Daniel always. Hood Roofing can help with that, can't they? <laughs> they come in and they've got some tricks up their sleeve that are going to get you a little little something coming. There you go. Daniel Hood Roofing. Aid they insurance. Will <laughs> they will help you. It's a good thing I haven't added an insurance company on That's here. That's about to say. <laughs> right. uh, DanielHoodRoofing.com to learn more. All right. Pretty good uh, chance the SEC will go to a new 3-6 format, as I said. Where can I put that thing? There we go. Get in the middle of the screen. 3-6 format, where you have three permanent opponents and then you rotate six every year. And because of that, you play everybody in the league every four years, home and away, which I think is spectacular. Um, my question, if the SEC wants to get you uh, three new teams, your three permanent rivals, who would be most interesting most for Vol fans? And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to throw these out. Now, what you see, this is how many times Tennessee has played each of the teams that are now going to be in their conference. We don't have to go by that. You may look at it and say, no, I think playing Oklahoma every year would create a new fantastic rival. Whatever. But I'm going to let each guy here nuke somebody until we wind up with three. Okay? Bob, I'll start with you. Least likely. What would be the least interesting permanent rival Tennessee could get in football? Um, I'm not even going to go with one of the Mississippi schools. I'm going to say Missouri. Nuke them. Okay. No interest in border state Missouri. It doesn't even really seem like a border state, does it? Exactly. And we're not West Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> played, uh, played them ten times, and it does not feel like a rivalry at no. all. Josh, who's next on your nuke list? Uh, I'll go to Mississippi. Uh, love cowbell. You need more of it, but not in a rivalry base. So uh, I will take out Mississippi State. Okay, yes. So all fans not getting a chance to go to Starkville every other year. They're going to be upset by that. <laughs> all right. Uh, and here's the thing. If anybody has a real strong disagreement with somebody's vote, please speak up. Mm -hmm. Vince, who are you nuking? Well, to me, there's still depth in that category. And I know Lane Kiffin is there. So at the moment, there's still plenty of interest in it. But I will say Ole Miss. Their fourth most played rivalry. See, I'm, yeah. I I'm, paid of, no the attention age, to yeah. I'm of the yes. age where Ole Miss Ole would Miss. be more interesting. Yes. Agreed, but still, uh, I think New King is probably best. Yeah, and we're getting we're getting down to three, right? Yes, we're getting down yeah, to three. Okay, Bob, your doesn't make it. Your uh, your sons view Florida and Georgia as rivals. Yes, I'm older than them. I view the guys that they replaced as I yep. view Auburn and Ole Miss as rivals. Those were great games that I hated to lose. Then you get so it's basically whoever you get, you're going to wind up. Yeah. Good, unless exactly. it's Missouri. <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah. All right. Uh, Chuck, who's getting nuked? In terms of road trip, I would nuke Texas A&M. Uh, you know, there's some other good ones on there. It's almost a process of elimination with me. All right. So I get to, I'm going to vote next. Vanderbilt. Do not care. Do not care. Do not care. Boring, agree, awful. Agree, I, agree, agree. In my life, I've always argued, well, you can't get rid of them because of the academics and everything else. In this new world, the way things are changing, yes. I wonder if you could just get them out. I really do. So, to me, I don't care if you beat Vanderbilt every year. I just, it's a useless, <clears throat> boring game. Yep. To, to me, though, it's the geography. I mean, they're in the state. Right. It's not like they're Memphis, but, I mean, they're in the mid-state. It's so important in terms of recruiting. They suck. Um, I know they suck. It's just you're playing a bag of suck every year. I mean, I, I just wish maybe maybe we're right. too far gone. No, let's take a vote. A I th we say Vandy no, out. No, get them out. I want Vandy because you beat them. I mean, yeah, I want to win. Okay. <laughs> you know? If you do that, then we yeah. put... Mississippi yeah. State. No, I mean, well, Vanderbilt, I mean, they had a stretch where they hit, beat Tennessee a few times, too. Uh, but, I mean, I see what you're saying, but I wouldn't nuke them this soon. I mean, yeah. I, I think they Vanderbilt. James Franklin with a lifetime contract, I'd say keep them. All they're right. not going to, so get rid of them. Get, okay, Josh is good with get rid of them. All right, Bob, who's next? Um, I'm going to go another border state and say adios, Kazoos, to uh, Arkansas. All right, we need to speed, speed this up. up. Josh. Uh, Oklahoma, goodbye. Yeah, that makes sense. Vince? South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah. Not a lot of juice there. I agree. Nope, there's not. You've now played them more times in history 
then you played LSU, <laughs> which just seems bizarre, again, yeah. for somebody who remembers when they came into the league. All right. Doug, you got something to say there, Josh? Do you have a smart aleck comment to throw out? <laughs> Darius Rucker's trying to spruce hey, it up. Yeah, 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 almost with with that. Swing, yeah. All right, Chuck? Can I abstain? No. Okay. I, then I, I would just go LSU. I hate to. But of those teams that are left, that's sure. who I would pick. Yep. All right, we're talking about permanent rivals here. We still have Texas. Texas still on the Texas, Georgia, Florida, Auburn, Alabama, Kentucky. I mean, that's for a good interesting. List. For, for, yeah. yeah, so we got to get it down to three. Who's oh. next out? Um, and we can all jump in here. Who's next yeah, out? Yeah, I tell you what, is, I hate to say it, but you're getting out of three. Auburn's out. I like Auburn. I, yeah. I miss Auburn the rivalry fun, with yeah, Auburn, right. but but if you're going to go that group, and then it would be Auburn. I think Kentucky is next. I know. I know what the number is. Uh, see, see, I wouldn't keep. I wouldn't kick Kentucky and Vandy both. I would keep Kentucky. Would you first. go Texas next? But that's just me. But yeah. go ahead. Let's let's keep talking Kentucky yeah. here. Let's decide on Kentucky. Well, I mean, I like how, and I'd bring back the beer barrel too, so I wouldn't get rid of I Kentucky. I'd, 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 but I would still, with the teams I would like to see, yeah. Kentucky would be out. Yeah. If we're getting down to three, I would. What if you're playing the same three in basketball? Oh no, you okay. didn't do that uh, to Kentucky. Uh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> so we're down to Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Texas. Ooh. Dumping Texas. I would dump Texas, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia would be who I yeah. would keep, but I would also like Texas. <laughs> it's the total opposite of what most – anybody who's looking at it saying, we want it to be easier. You didn't get easier. You made it harder. Yeah. Well, actually, it's actually the same. Actually, it's the same. Exactly, yes. But, Tell you what, I'm tempted with Texas, but I just don't who know. Who, yeah, that's the thing. It's the battle of the real UT, I, man. I would dump Florida. If I had to dump one of these. Uh, I like Florida. No, yeah, I'd, I would I'd see, Georgia, there. you recruit in Georgia right. more than you yeah. recruit in Florida. Uh, and I think you could recruit in Texas, but I, oh, I agree. I like Alabama and Georgia. You're one and two, and it would be between Florida and Texas for me. But we're saying Alabama, Georgia, and Florida, right? Yeah. I believe so. The same three you got with. right now. Yeah. That was boring. Okay. <laughs> but here's the yeah, but here's the thing: if Tennessee gets those three from the SEC, the response will be, "We're gonna play too hard." <laughs> and again, everybody's gonna play. 16 yeah. rotated. Yeah. Whoever's gonna, whatever your schedule is, regardless if you get three duds as your permanents or three hard ones as your permanents, it's going to be an NFL schedule with the rotations. And here's the Plus, key. Be good. There's not three duds yeah. either, I mean, so be, there's well, not one. Well, that's the other thing. You don't know who's going to be. Right now, Kentucky's a 10-win team. Right. Yeah. Florida's the 5-6 win team. So, all right. When we, so, Florida, Georgia, and Alabama is who we think would be the most interesting permanent rivals if the SEC goes in that direction. We'll yeah. see what they get. Uh, Next, what will they do in basketball? I mentioned it. And then also, you're not going to have an even number of home and road games in the SEC for all teams. Is that going to be an issue? Come on back. 